Number 35 in Chapter 5 of the Atkins textbook asks you to calculate biological standard Gibbs energy, or delta G, um, at biological standard, which is pH is equal to 7. Um, so there's a very nice formula that equates the cell potential, which is what we're provided with delta G. And that can be found on page 197, it's equation 5.14. And it tells us that the cell potential is equal to negative delta G all over VF. So we have most of the things we need to solve for delta um, G already. We have the cell potential. We also have F, which is Faraday's constant. All we're missing is V. And V is the stoichiometric coefficient of electrons in the half reactions. Um, in other words, it's the amount of electrons that are being transferred or involved in the redox reaction. Easiest way to find V is to break up this big redox reaction into its constituent um, oxidation and reduction reactions. So remember that reduction involves gaining electrons and oxidation requires losing electrons. So some people like to use the mnemonic to remember it as um, Leo the lion says grr. So losing electrons is oxidation, gaining electrons is reduction. So let's take a look at the redox reaction we're provided to figure out where these electrons go and where they're coming from. One of the first things that you'll notice is that this NADH is being converted into NAD+. So it's losing this hydrogen here. Um, but it's not just losing just the proton, it's also losing the electrons as well. Um, so that clues us in to the fact that the NADH is going to be a part of the oxidation reaction, which is involves losing the electrons. So we can write this down as NADH goes to NAD plus, and it's losing those electrons and the hydrogen as well. What's left over now is the oxygen, hydrogens, and water. So we can predict that the molecular oxygen is going to take the two hydrogens and some electron, two electrons as well to form H2O. So it's a very good start um, because we already have the basics for both the oxidation and reduction half reactions. But what's really important is that we need to balance the equations. So I'm going to put a two here to make sure that the oxygens balance which means that I have to change this into a four. So if we take a look at um, all the charges, you have four positive here, four negative here, which comes out to be a neutral charge and water is neutral as well, so that works out. Um, now we need to make sure that the electrons are equal on both sides so that we can accurately combine them into the overall redox reaction. So because four electrons are right here, we also need four electrons to be in this equation. Um, so this changes coefficients of the NADH formula. Um, so it's going to require us to put a two here, two here, and a two here, because here we have two positive, two positive, four negative, and a neutral charge. So all the charges balance out. So here are our two half reactions. So we can determine what V is based off of the number of electrons. And it looks like it's gonna be four electrons. So four electrons are involved or interchanged between the oxidation and reduction reactions. V is equal to four. So lastly, we can put this all into the formula. Um, so the cell potential is 1.14 volts is equal to negative delta G over V, which is 4, and F, which is Faraday's constant, 96,485 coulombs per mole. 
Um, so we can make sure that the units cancel out by changing volts and coulombs into their S basic SI units. So if we do that, we get 1.14 and a volt is equal to a kilograms meters squared seconds cubed amperes um, is equal to negative delta RG over 4. 96, 485, and a coulomb is an angstrom, sorry, um, ampere second per mole. Um, and if we take a look at our calculation for G, we'll get that delta G of the reaction at biological standard conditions is equal to 439,971.6 joules per mole, which is equal to 440 kilojoules per mole. Um, and make sure you don't forget the negative sign as well from here. So here's our answer to part A as negative 440 kilojoules per mole. So part B is going to follow the exact same concept, just with a different um, cell potential and equation. So again, find the half reactions by bringing it up into an oxidation and a reduction component. So this NAD plus component is very similar to what we did from um, part A. So NAD plus is going to gain a hydrogen. Um, and so when it's gaining a hydrogen, it's gaining both a proton and an electron. So we can write this um, into our reduction reaction as NAD plus plus hydrogen and an electron to make NADH. Um, and remember to balance the charges of the equation. So we're going to put a 2 here because there's 2 positive, And here there's 2 negative to make sure it's equal to the neutral form of NADH. So what's left over is um, the malate and the oxaloacetate, um, as well as the hydrogen. Um, so the chemical formula for malate is C4. H6O5 oxaloacetate is C4H4O5. And as you can see, there is a difference of two hydrogens between this malate and oxaloacetate. So um, what we can assume is that the malate loses those two hydrogens and two electrons and there is the oxaloacetate left over. Um, and remember that these two are going to combine to be 2H, which is where the difference between the two H's comes from. Um, so here we have our two half reactions. And again, we can find V um, by recognizing that two electrons are involved in this reaction. So V is equal to two. Um, and like last time, we're just gonna play it all into the formula. So E of the cell is negative 0 0.154 volts is equal to negative delta G over V, which is 2, and Faraday's constant. Um, and now these two negatives cancel. So once we solve, we get delta G at biological standard conditions is equal to negative 29,717.38 joules per mole or 29.73 kilojoules per mole. Lastly, part C is going to be the exact same thing. Um, except this time, we are not given the full redox reaction. We're just given the half reaction. And as you can see, oxygen is gaining electrons. So this is the reduction part, because there's a gain in electrons. 
Um, but that makes our job a lot easier to find V because we can just tell based off of this half reaction, which is already given to us, that V is going to be equal to 4. So, like always, we just plug it back into the formula. 0 0.81 volts is equal to negative G over 4, and then Faraday's constant. And solving this all out, um, you should get that delta G at biological standard state is equal to negative 312.6 kilojoules per mole. Um, one last thing to remark on this problem is that if you're ever unsure about whether or not your half reactions are correct, um, Atkins table um, 5.2 actually has some standard um, half reactions for common redox reactions. So that's a great way to verify.